you are all okay and that you've had a really good week uh, so this week what we're going to be doing is we're going to go into your person's fears about the situation and emotions for you and we're also going to look about if they've got any regrets so we're going to split it into two kind of readings into one so I've picked up some old decks this is deck number one and this is deck number two. So think about you, think about your person, uh, and we're going to get into the strongest mutual energy between you all. So deck number one, deck number two. So if anything doesn't resonate, just remember it for a later date. It's also possible that you're not part of the strongest mutual energy. So if I nip into all of your energies, nip into all your people's energies, and we pull out the strongest mutual energy between you all. Number one, number two. Go from where your gut instinct is pulling you, please. And if only clairvoyance out there, if you're seeing an orange, go with where the orange is leading you. Number one, number two. Got it? Okay, so let's get going. Let's do deck number one. Deck number uno. <laughs> that was my best Portuguese there, wasn't it? Deck one. Deck one. Okay. Can you get me into the people watching energy? I know it's a pain to watch the shuffling, but it gives you the most accurate results doing it because we're getting the energy in there on fleek as they say in England on fleek okay think about your person and we get into the energy of that okay I've got pink coming through just like a pill you keep <laughs> you keep making me ill um, let's get into their people's thoughts feelings energy emotions and thought processes and let's tap into any fears and regrets that their people have as well. So we'll do five cards on each. We'll do five cards for fear and we'll do five cards for regret. I've got hair on my face. Five cards for fear, five cards for regret. So what are their people's fears about the relationship or the, their situation? Where is the collective energy on the fears of these people? What fears have they got, please? Can I have some clear jumpers? Thank you. One two, three, okay I just got really clearly with that too much of a good thing so just remember that because I'm going to forget that because it's just channeled for what things have they got, five and what feeling, um, no not what feelings, what regrets do they have, what regrets do their people have, one, two, Three, four, five. Okay, I have remembered that message from Spirit. Too much of a good thing. So let's talk about their fears first at this moment in time. So the first thing that we're getting as a message from Spirit is we've got pink just like a pill and we've got too much of a good thing. So if we merge those energies together, they're thinking that they are on a little bit of self-destruct going on here. Um, they are worrying uh, that the situation is too good to be true, that the energy, they're wondering why you love them because they haven't exactly treated you the best and they're wondering um, why you're still kind of hanging on, what, what is it? Um, and even if you're like, oh I've let it go, blah blah blah, they are still thinking that you are hanging on to the situation, they can still feel it in your energy. So they are worrying about, not worrying as such, but they're just trying to plead ignorant on it at the moment, having a period of rest about it. Um, they go into overload on their thoughts about the situation and when they do that your person as a whole your people are very good at detaching from the situation so they get into this mind state that they choose to detach from it some of them go to sleep some of them distract themselves some of them go date other people etc etc so their first fear is that it's too much of a good thing that um they are kind of got this addiction towards you with the pill song uh, just like a pill you instead of making me better you keep making me ill but they keep going back towards you um and you're also mirroring that energy so that song will reflect on you guys as well you'll be feeling that song too so they find that overwhelming and then they try and distract themselves from it and they go into self-destruct so the first card you've got three things you've got the self-destruct fear well they're not really afraid of that that's kind of the consequence of their fears um too much of a good thing 
and that there's this kind of addiction energy coming forward. You both have this addiction energy between the two of you. It is like a drug. Um, you know, you want to... Um, it's kind of like when you have the highs, you have the ultimate highs of your person. And when you have the lows, you have the absolute lows. And when you're on the absolute lows, you're still wanting to reach up to get that high. And that's the kind of energy that's coming forward with you and your person. That's this addictive energy. Um, and with them and their fears of that, they don't understand why they have such a pull towards you. They don't know how to break that cycle. And that scares them because with any other person that they have been with, they've kind of been in control of it. And in this, they feel that they cannot control it. They feel like they are stuck. Um, they don't know how to control their emotions. They don't know how to control the situation. So they run, they escape, they self-destruct. Whatever your individual circumstances are, these fears are because the intensity of the relationship is very, very strong. They also worry as well in their fears that you want more than what they can give you at this moment in time. So this is more for my third party people as well. Um, you're worried that uh, they're not going to leave or blah 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 if they are with someone else um, but they are thinking that if they leave at this moment in time you two coming together is not going to work because they aren't in the right mind frame for that to happen at this moment so that's going on as well so we've got an element of deception and third parties over here we've got the fears of too much of a good thing the intensity of your relationship and whether they are ready uh, for something like that these fears kind of have come quite strongly to the surface at the moment. Whatever their, your individual circumstances are, that is where the fears lie. With the pill song as well, with that song, um, and with the fact that if they are with someone else, that song will come to the forefront because they've got the stability and security where they are. And with you, it's very, very passionate. It's a very, very addictive energy. And they're unsure if this um, is ever going to amount to anything that's going to be more logical. You know, and that scares the living daylights out of them. They're thinking they have this pull towards you. They have this very strong spiritual connection with you. And they're thinking, well, if this is the case, how am I ever going to um, leave where I am? What am I going to do? How would it ever work? Would we actually be that compatible when we come together? Would the grass be greener on the other side? And that is going through their thoughts. That is going through their head. And that's going through the processes of their mind. So you've got a few different things kind of going on here. Too much of a good thing, whether it would actually work between the two of you. Um, you wanting everything at the moment and they can't give it to you. Third parties leaving the stability and the security. Also, there seems to be a little bit of deception going on and it could be deception in their own thoughts um, or you are worried about the deception that they have, that they might have lied to you. Um, so that's coming up as well. It's that would you guys ever trust each other? So overall, we've got fears of trust, we've got fears of deception, we've got third party um, stressing, we've got you wanting everything right here, right now, and they can't give it to you. You've got escapism, you've got addiction energy, um, and you have got uh, wanting everything now, basically. I think I've missed one, but I can't remember what it was now. But that is basically what their fears are about the situation. And... Yes, that is a lot of fears. It will be split up between you all. Remember, it's your strongest mutual energy. So if any of that doesn't resonate with your person, um, just to be an allowance of it, you know, your individual circumstances, some of these fears will be for your person. Some of these fears will be for other people watching the video, but it's your overall mutual energy on their fears. A lot of fears. And that's why they go into the self-destruct, you know? That's why they do it. And you lot are also mirroring this kind of energy let's let's be frank you are also mirroring that energy because you wanting it all now you're kind of trying to put the element of control on the situation um you're worried that you wouldn't be able to trust them are they with other people what's kind of going on over there you're uh, got the addictive energy as well it's all kind of you're linking in with one another, you know, your, your fears are linking in. So what we could do about that, uh, I'll probably say it in debt too as well, is if you go onto YouTube, type in releasing fear meditations, um, do it for yourself and ask it to mirror onto your person because if you're mirroring each other's fears, you're going to be mirroring each other's positive energies as well. So release fear meditation, do it every day. Um, or every couple of days to try and clear some of these blocks that are happening with your person I'm afraid it's going to go land on you rather than your person because your person is in avoidance behaviour so that are their fears what are their regrets? their regrets are that they have actually left it a bit too long 
<laughs> that they think, well, you know, maybe I should have done something about this a little bit sooner. Again, there's fears over here that you might be seeing other people. So if you guys are not in contact, there is definitely a fear going on that you're seeing involved with other people being intimate with other people again we've kind of got a mirroring energy happening between the two of you so they're regretting that they've waited a bit too long they're regretting that uh you might well they're worried that you might be with someone else they are also uh worried that it took them so long to make a choice and a decision and there's an element of jealousy here as well so a lot of them are regretting how they've handled the situation, they're regretting their actions, some of them have act they have acted, if they've been jerks they've acted on emotion basically rather than logic and they've gone away from the situation, had a thought, had a think, think about it, had a thought about it, had a thought about it I think. They thought about it since they've been away um, and realised that you know maybe they should have got their act together a bit sooner, they're a little bit annoyed about how they've handled the situation, what they've said to you um, and worrying that they've pushed you away into the arms of someone else. So you've got the mirroring energy here, the regret of their act what they've said rather than their actions, um, mirroring, the fact that they haven't made a choice or a decision um, and the fact that they're starting to see this through, uh, they're let, kind of starting to let go of their rose tinted glasses, spirit is saying. They're starting to put the t rose tinted glasses to the side, deal with the situation, how they should have dealt with it from the start, and through that, that is this movement back towards you. But this is where their regrets are at the moment that they didn't do anything when they should have done, that they've kind of played with fire a little bit and got burnt, that they've um, waited for things to move forward and not made any actions and now they're worried that you're with other people um, that they had this element of jealousy that jealousy is there now and they acted on the passionate side of energy between you both and they haven't handled the situation the best way they could so those are their regrets as such so you've got a bit of a mixed up energy here with regard to their regrets um, we could do this again by looking at you guys and your guys regrets so what you could do is you could write down a list of the regrets that you are having about this relationship um, and Spirit is saying to just write down your list of regrets and so put it in a bowl of water in the full moon, next full moon, no, new moon, put it in a bowl of water under the new moon, put your regrets in there and in the morning just chuck it in the bin. What that will do is that and the water energy is about the emotions, uh, the new moon is about new beginnings and it's all about going to be releasing these emotions from the situation of the regrets so you don't feel that attachment towards them anymore. So write your list of fears, pop it in a bowl of water. Uh, you can even put salt in the water if you want to try and clear it a little bit more. Uh, leave it in the moon. Leave it under the stars, in the, in the window of the full moon. New moon. Leave it in a window of the new moon and let the universe do its job and it should start clearing up the regrets that you guys would have as well, which will in turn then echo onto them because you guys mirror. That's step number one. Ooh, okay. Yeah, a bit of a mixed up bunch over here, you know, but that is where you guys are currently at. So let's do deck number two, 1256. That's a quick one for me. Okay, can we get into our pupils' energy? So as always, it works on the screen, use mutual energy between you all. We're going to look at their fears and we're going to look at regrets and we're going to see if there's anything we can do to move your situations forward. We'll have a look what comes up. Okay, can you tell me please what fears do the people, their people, have about the relationship with those watching? One, two, three, what fears do they have? Four, five, and what regrets do they have? regrets do their people have one I just got a uh, sound of music climb every mountain, climb every mountain. ford every stream follow every rainbow till you find your dreams what regrets do they have Their main regret here, I think I'm actually going to start off with regrets with you guys, their main regret here is that they, they gave up on love. So their main regret is that you are actually the one person that loved them without any conditions, loved them for who they were as a person, loved them for the energy uh, that they were, not what you, they could give you. 
you loved them for them and um, you actually saw the truth of them you saw them as the real person that they are and it scared the living daylights out of them and they kind of gave up on it they went for the easier options whether that was being single whether there was someone else they went for the easier option and they gave up on love and that is a really really big regret that is playing in their head you've got two of them you've got two of cups and the lovers regrets over the love that you two have had together that they've lost it because they've been idiots because they've acted on logic rather than their than their heart emotion rather than their heart um you know a lot of them wore a mask in front of you as such they didn't let you into their emotions they didn't let you into how they were feeling and they didn't communicate with it proper with you properly you wanted the stability and the security and it's like they kind of blanked you off a little bit and they regret that now because they realize that that they have lost you or they feel that they have lost you at the moment they also regret the fact that they were feeling stuck in this situation um, and feeling very very exhausted and knackered from it and they, they might have said some stuff to you um, that they didn't actually mean some of them have reacted on um, instinct you know it's that fight or flight mode some of them went into fight mode some of them went into flight mode whichever direction your person has individually gone these fears are kind of coming up as well how they handled the situation as a whole there is a regret here um, and again with the world card in the middle it's the fact that they had you and they let you go they regret it. They regret that. That was really, uh, that was quick. But those are what their key regrets are, that they gave up on love, that there was this conflict of energies, um, that they didn't handle the situation right, that they felt knackered and exhausted, went into fight or flight mode. And either way, whatever's happened with your person, um, they, start, they felt stuck and they just kind of cut the connection off. That's where your mutual energy is. Um, if the connection hasn't been cut off, this is still where their energy is, that they have han haven't handled the situation as best as they could, that they still feel that they've given up on love, that they understand that you are the one person that really did connect with their heart and that they lost you. So there's a big regret over here that they haven't acted in the right way, that they haven't acted on their emotions, that they've got themselves in a position where they feel stuck because of their actions. So debt number one was more about their words and what they said. Debt number two, your person is regretting their actions more than their words. You know, um, in fight mode, the words that they have said will have come out, but all, it feels to me that with a lot of you guys, if they have said stuff that was a bit underhanded, it wasn't actually said in truth, it was said in anger um, or bitterness. And they regret that they pushed you away. That's really sad. It's a sad feeling to this deck, it does feel sad. That's where their regrets are for you. Um, in their fears for you, they are worried that they've made this choice again and that they're going to end up alone, that the situation has come to a close with you with the death card. They're worried that, woo, that the two of you are never... I'll pick them up afterwards. They're worried that the two of you are never going to come to um, anything now because of the choices that they have made. Um, they will backtrack on this, but this is what they are. Off, their fears are at the moment that they've actually made their bed. They've got to lie in it and that they've lost you for good. And again, that highlights the giving up on love. So there's a regret there. They also regret, and from a very selfish point of view, that they feel very, um, not regret, they also have a fear that they are going to feel alone for the rest of their life that they've again they've pushed away the one person that truly loved them for who they were and no one else is ever going to love them in exactly the same way and they pushed you away so there's a fear here that they're going to end up alone there's also a fear here that by the time these guys have actually made a move on you you guys would have moved on that you will have thought right i've had enough of this bullshit and um, i'm ready for something new so they've got a fear here that you're going to do a runner when they get back in touch um but the other two cards over here, eight of ones and six of ones, this is saying there is movement and there is victory, but it's just not quite yet. So they are still hoping, their hopes really, rather than their fears, are that they can come back and you will still be there waiting for them. But the fear behind that, the fear behind this movement is that they are going to get stuck, that you are going to be moving forward, that you're going to have forgotten them and that they've lost you. So that is one of their fears as well, a key, key fear that they've lost you. Their fears and their regrets are kind of very, very similar in this deck. Um, there is a very strong love between the two of you. Your people do love you, but they've just been idiots, basically. They've acted on instinct rather than emotions. You can come with me. You can come and see my flat. I'm sure that is my daughter. Is that someone there? If we'll have a look, we'll have a look. There is. Yeah. 
I've got a sign for something. I know. My dog ripped something in post. Yeah, I was going to put it in the porch and I thought, where do I put the ticket? <laughs> I know, I shall eat it. Thanks, dog. darling. Can you sign it? Oh, I'll sign it. Thank you. Ooh, presents. Right, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> my dog just rips his shoes. She just rips everything up. It's no good. So, uh, so, so, so. So, the point is that your people do regret their actions um, more than what their words were. They regret what they've said. Uh, they regret their actions more than the words, but their words have had a big impact on you as well. Um, they have got fears that they've lost you for good. And these fears and these regrets, eventually, as time progresses, they will start acting on it. They will start doing something about the situation. But for now, just leave him be, let him get on with it. If you want to look at it individually, obviously this is your collective mutual energy. So if you want to look at it individually, just drop me an email. Uh, website's up, email's up, Facebook's up, Instagram's up. Go and find me. Um, so I've got a couple of places left for teaching. I've got two booked up this week, so there's a couple more. Um, and that's it really. It was a bit of a sad reading today. I know it was a bit of a heavier reading. Um, but try not to break it into your energy, just go and have a relax. If you can run yourself a shower or something, go clear the energy from you, go and relax your energy out, you know. Um, we haven't focused on how the situations are shifting, we've just looked at the fears and the regrets. So don't let your mind fill in the gaps now, you know. If you want the individual things, where it's going, we can move that. The reading last week we did was actions, so these are just where their fears and their regrets are at. So don't add two and two in your head. You know, take it, breathe. Okay, guys, have a good week. Lots of love. Take care. Bye.